Hello, this is Bishop, and this is a test of Autopilot version 2019.32.11, which is the first V10 version that I've received for my car. So, of course, the first thing that I'm testing out here is going to be the enhanced summon capability. So right now, I'm at a parking lot in a local school, nice empty parking lot where I don't have to worry about running into anybody else, and I've just drawn my destination. The car is backing out of the parking space. I've got the front camera overlaid, along with I thought it was very important to also show what was going on in the app for this so you can get an understanding of exactly how this feature works. So you draw your destination and the car will draw a path to get to where it is that you have specified. So it will go around things like um, obstacles such as curbs, lampposts, and definitely cars. But one thing that it doesn't exactly pay too close attention to is going over lane lines, as you'll see here. Uh, so right now it's trying to make the turn. It's going to start turning around to come back to the spot that I've specified. It's funny, the GPS on the Tesla I've always found to be pretty accurate. Like more often than not, it'll identify where the car is down to the individual parking space it's at. However, the GPS on my phone is far, far less accurate, unfortunately. So there, it got to the destination, except it lost internet connectivity at that point. So that's why it stopped. So this is the second test that I've done. Now it's trying to draw a path where it's actually not crossing directly over the lane lines, which is, or sorry, over the parking space lines, which is good. But in this instance, there's actually a car and a motorcycle over there and some people. So I'm, I'm repositioning where I would like it to target to see if I could get it to do a new path, which it has. Um, so once it's ready, I go ahead and hit. So you have to hold down the button the entire time. Uh, as soon as you release the button, the car will immediately come to a stop. So the first thing that it does is it does actually start to back out of the parking space just a little bit, just enough that it can um, start to turn. It doesn't seem to want to cross over that center line for the parking spaces, but as you can see here, it's going sideways across the parking spaces, which it doesn't, uh, which is obviously not ideal. This part got me a little nervous because I thought I was going to run into the lamppost. You can see on the main view uh, the perspective that I'm watching us from. But one of the things I've noticed is if it sees something like an intersection here, it will pause for a moment before entering the intersection. I wouldn't say that's 100% reliable. Another thing that I've also seen in the testing is the car will also stop for pedestrians at a pretty respectable distance if the pedestrians are in the road. Like I've seen it stop for pedestrians that were as many as 20 feet away, even though its max speed does seems to be about five and a half miles per hour. I will say that the performance that I'm seeing from the enhanced summon in my testing uh, is significantly better than the early videos that we watched in which the car was basically creeping along at one mile per hour, which is unacceptably slow. The speed that it moves at now seems like it's pretty acceptable. So here it reached its target and I've actually drawn a new target uh, just to get it to pull around this corner because I just wanted to see how the car performed. Sometimes that error message that you see pops up. Um, one of the biggest things that I've noticed about this is your phone does require connectivity to the car. So just like the normal app management stuff that you would typically be doing, um, you know, you do need internet connectivity and the car needs internet connectivity. This area is a bit of a dead spot. So one of the reasons that the car stopped earlier and I had to restart one of the tests was because the car actually lost internet connectivity. I had to reposition it to a different, different section of the parking lot and here you can see it's pulling towards the curb and I got a little nervous right at that last part I was afraid it was going to hit so I kind of lost my nerve <laughs> 